Guillermo, good evening. Good evening, David Armando. Good evening. Oh, my God. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Robert, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Mr. Beltran, good evening. Good evening, Mr. How are you? How was your day? So busy, but a good day. But it was busy. Super busy. The same, yeah. same as usual. Yeah, no, I mean, maybe sometimes it's a kind of busy, but not like today. Today I have two activities. It means it is a, a kind of a little bit uh, an, an extra effort. Yeah, you have to do to give your best. Exactly. But what can we do? Yeah, but right now we are here. So that's not I mean, we are here. Yeah, you. We have to perform. We have to. Yeah, we have to do it. Yeah, we have to do our best, as you say. I mean, there is a good question, Mister. What? Uh, how hard is for you? to use the past perfect. Hmm. If I can use, so how can I yeah, use, or I mean. Is... Let me repeat again. Uh -huh. How hard is for you to use past perfect? How what? H-A-R-D. A-R-D. Um... How hard? Ah, yeah, I got it. Sorry, how hard? No, maybe, I mean, for me, no more because, you know, I'm a teacher. I'm, I've been teaching and at the end, mm, I mean, maybe the hardest uh, topic that I have taught, I mean, was on module, on, on module number four, maybe you are going to be there. Module number four, intermediate, is like uh, reporting the speech. It's harder than For speech. reporting the speech. 
yeah present to the past the I mean yeah. that is the, I mean you Let have me to see. understand I mean yeah. you have to understand what is the speech when it's a reported speech and use it yeah. something like uh like the like the, 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 the passive boy and active voice that is yes uh, I understand that topic that, a, that, that, it was a little bit hard for yeah me, it's one of the hardest topic maybe that I have talked we are going to see it in our English for work. Sorry, are we going to see it? Yeah, you are going that... to study, but I think it's already okay. on intermediate module number four. Okay, it's a little hard. I think so. By I only seen three tenses in present, uh, present continuous, and. Present. Um, it's past, present, present, continue. Just ah, right. those. past, present, and present, continuous. Yeah. Just so, three. but as as much as as uh, I mean, as much as you are going in advance in these courses, you are going to discover a new topic. And I told you, I was teaching intermediate module number four, I think so. And I mean, I was teaching reported speech that I think so. That is one of the hardest topic, maybe. Reported yeah. speech, passive voice, because I mean, when the object become the subject and the subject become the object, something like that. Maybe it's the hardest topic that maybe I have. So it's a it's a, it's a tough topic. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Welcome again to another day in the paradise. This is the English class. This is our class number 16. It means that just a uh, Friday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I think so it's going to be our last class. Okay, I hope so that you have learned a little bit here. And we are going to be, I mean, let me see, sorry, no, I didn't. Yeah. And, um, you are going to be ready for the next module. This is module number five, I think so. This is module number four, no? This is beginner module number four. So after the next Wednesday, I mean, you are going to be ready for module number five. And after, I mean, that's like module number six, that is the, uh, that is beginner. And after you are going to go in advance, in intermediate, sorry, that is, there are another six modules. And after you are going to have another six modules of advance. So, but right now we are here. That's the future. And we are going to start, we're going to start studying again a little bit about the topic that we have been studying before. And it is a kind of, let me see. It is uh it is the yes no question okay some yes no questions uh-huh okay let me see okay 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 here we go. Okay. Mr. Beltran, can you read question number three and can you answer, please? So the answer okay. is started there. Oh, did it rain last week? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Very good. <clears throat> and David Armando, can you read question number four and can you answer, please? And yes, I did. No, but read the whole sentence, please. Read the, the, the read and answer it. Uh, did Mr. Smith go to the war this morning? Yes, uh -huh. I did. Yes, he did. Because he's talking about Mr. Smith. Yes, he did. Okay. Okay. Sandra Alvarado, question number five. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. 
Did green no. Number five. Was uh -huh. it hot yesterday? Excellent. Uh -huh. Answer it. Yes. Yes. It was. Exactly. Yes, it was. Very good. Walter Reyes, question number five. Sorry, number six. Were there at home yesterday? Were they? Were they at home mm -hmm. yesterday? Answer. No, I didn't. No, they weren't. Uh, no, they were. No, they weren't. Ana Maria Rivas, question number seven, please. Did the dog bite you? Mm -hmm. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Very good. No, it didn't. Catherine Guadalupe, question number eight. 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 Was the coffee hot? Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't. No, I, no, eat. Remember the <laughs> coffee, no, you, no, eat. No, eat. Uh -huh. No, it wasn't. <laughs> exactly. Siempre me equivoco. No, nah, don't worry. We are learning. Roberto Guzmán, number nine, please. Number nine. Did you watch TV last night? Yes, I did. Excellent. Brenda Diaz, can you read number 10? I don't know how it's brain that right now. Okay. That's gonna go. Fatima Laura, can you read number 10, please? Were they busy? Yes, they were. Were they busy? Busy. Busy. Yeah, that's busy. Gabriela, number 11. Were the exam difficult? No, I didn't. No. No. No, were... no. no, they. I, no, they. they. Uh -huh. No, they were not, or no, they weren't. Okay, no, they weren't. Mm -hmm. No, they weren't. Roxana Ramirez, can you read question number 12? <clears throat> Me las movió, teacher. Ay, yes. ya, ya la <laughs> Was the movie good? Uh -huh. No, no, it wasn't. Excellent, Roxana. Very good. Karen Castillo Sensente. Can you read number 13? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I did. No, but read the whole answer. Read the whole question, please. Read the whole sentence, Karen. Ah, okay. La oración. Yes. Did she feed a bitter hope? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, I did. No. Remember, did she find a better job? Mm. Yes, she did. Recuerden, niños, para cuando respondo, ah. respondo generalmente con el auxiliar con el que me están preguntando y sobre el sujeto. Uh, yes, she did. Exactly. That's it. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Uh, hasta ahí. Hasta ahí. Respuestas okay. cortas. 
Mr. Beltran, can you read number 14? Okay. Was your classmate at the library? Jay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. Yes, 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 he was. Yes, he was. Excellent. Good. <laughs> I'll read that one. Number four, well, number 15. Did the train arrive on time? No, it didn't. Did you remember to buy eggs? No, I didn't. Were you tired after your long flight? No, I was not, or I wasn't. Were the children happy? Yes, they were. Did Mr. Johnson buy a new car yesterday? Yes, he did. Was the book expensive? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't me. Okay. Remember, guys, if they are asking me with did, I have to answer with did. If they are if they are asking me with was, I have to answer with was or maybe or where. It depends. But that's it. Okay. I don't know if you have any question here again. No questions. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. And you don't want to answer because maybe you are shy. <laughs> no, okay. Stop chating. Okay, now we are going to go through that and then, then to the attendance list. Attendance. Chiquitita to be this one. Wait. Okay, right now, Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. Diego Armando Romero Hernández. No, no es así. Y a ah, David, sorry. Se me papelaron los papeles, me estoy durmiendo. Sorry, the, the cross the page. <laughs> okay, Diego Rodolfo Ruano Vázquez. So sorry, David. Es porque los tengo bien chiquiticos. Ahorita los los agrando no vaya a ser. Hoy sí. Es que estaba bien chiquitico. Diego, no, Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. You. Present teacher. Okay. My connection isn't stable, you know? So come on. And me, I'm sleeping. I don't know why. This is, I, I, I even I practice the sports. That's why maybe I am, I am not a young man. Eh, Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán I'm here Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua Present teacher Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present, present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present, teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Sandra Yamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present, teacher. Y Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Well, so Manuel, you are the winner of the lotto today. Prepare you mentally. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, Anna, that's okay. So did you hear me, Mr. Reyes? Mr. Reyes. Walter? No, teacher. Uh, you are the winner of the lotto today. No. <laughs> no what? Oh, I mean, I don't get it, Mr. Reyes. No. I don't got it. No, no, no la entendí muy bien. Ah, ok, I didn't know. Que le toca quedarse conmigo después de la clase. Ok. Ok, thank you. Uh, ok, Consuelo, I'm going to take into account. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's gonna go to the to our I mean um soon he was yes I mean some kind of uh -huh. okay so Let's gonna start to give an idea of what is financial statement. What do you think when you think about financial statement? Do you have an idea of what, what financial statement means? Uh, financial. financial. Okay, let's gonna share. Okay. Okay, let's gonna see some words that you come comes to your mind when you think about financial statement. Words to related to bank, related to financial area, huh? Give me one word, Mr. Beltran. Financial statement. Uh -huh. What comes to your mind when you see uh, that? Statement in the first uh, module of this mm -hmm. class, I'm sorry, of this level of English, my first teacher was, I remember he told, he, he, he said that a statement means like sentence. Is that right, Miss? Yes. In the case, I mean, a statement, yes. But in this case, could mean another stuff. It means another stuff related to another things. A statement. Let me finish a statement. Um, discurso de financiero. No sé qué significa. Ok, very good, mister. De hecho, quiere decirse, traduce literal en este caso como estado financiero. Oh, estado financiero. Yeah. But wow. when you listen to, what comes to your mind? Cuando oye oh, esto, yeah. ¿qué viene a su mente? Yeah. ¿Ah? Bueno. Who was talking? I don't know. Who was talking? Diego, Robert. Um, but yeah, I got you right now. I'm very clear. Yeah. Financial. You are lagging, my friend. Yes, it's Roberto Guzman. He's having problem with the internet, but it's, he is. Okay, financial statement. Mm, One word. I'm in dev right now. Dev. Dev. Excellent. That's the word. Dev. Very good. Dev. Very nice word. Mr. Walter Reyes, another word that comes to your mind when you talk about financial statement. Mm-hmm. 
A team. Which one? Team? Mm. No, no. Perdón, perdón. Uh, uh, well, co a con con cuentas, ¿no? Ah, account. <coughs> account. Yeah. It, uh -huh. Account. Yeah. Eh, Roberto, you told me, Roberto. Sorry, Roberto Guzmán. Credit, credit card. Credit card. Very good. Credit card. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sandra Alvarado. Despierta bien tu día, comienza la alegría, desayunos, pizza, hat, ah, no. <laughs> Sandra, what is that? Estoy pensando. Ah, okay. <laughs> you are thinking, yeah. very good. Incoming, in teacher. Incoming. In yes. Coming, that's it? Sí. Ah, okay. Um, bills. Bills. Uh, for the other one, very good, bills. Uh huh. Eh, okay, Sandra, let's gonna skip you. Oh. Catherine Guadalupe. <laughs> smiling. The girl that is always a smiling. <laughs> no, quiero ver. Está pensando también. <laughs> Cuando dicen de estado financiero lo de dinero, pero... Bueno, that's a good word. Money. Billuyo. Yeah, money. Billix, yeah. Money, that's a good word. I could be dinero. Necesito dinero. Pero mucho dinero. Company access. Huh? Company access. Company uh, access. Yeah? Yes. Company access. What do you mean access? Activo de la empresa. Huh? Activo de, de, de la empresa. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Very good. Access t-shirt. Access. Huh? Access. Uh -huh. What is access? That is with double S. Okay. Access. What is access? Okay. Okay. No. I mean, I know, I mean, that's why, let me see. I was checking the word, that's why. Mm -hmm. Ruth, welcome, Ruth. Assess. Ah, yeah. Tasar, valorar, evaluar, yeah. Company, assess. Yeah, that's okay. That's the word. Okay, let me see. Uh huh. Ruth, a word that comes to your mind when you think of financial statement. Cash flow. Ah, excellent, Guillermo. Cash flow. With the flow, yeah. Cash, excellent. Flujo de efectivo, cash flow. Uh huh, Ruth, can you speak? A word that comes to your mind when you think in financial statement. Mm -hmm. No. No, okay. Fatima Laura. Income and expense. Ah, Fatima, income and expenses, yeah. Uh huh. Very good. Gabriela Vasquez.
Mm -hmm. No, Gabriela, no words. Roxana, one word. Ya lo dijeron, teacher. David and credits. Credit, maybe. Just credits. Just now. Okay. Ana Maria, one word. <clears throat> no. Okay. Necesito dinero. Rock and bench. Ah, okay. Business cash Broke. register. Ah. Cash register. It says on the chat. It's down on the chat. But business rock and bench. Business, it is what I did. Business. Oh my God. A uh, broken bench. Bench. Okay, that's it. We have a kind of words there, I mean, that we can use for after that. We are going to discuss about this word. Okay, let me see. Uh, there is another one. Balance, yeah, balance, that is. Balance, yeah. Balance, very good. I'm gonna stop, stop sharing, let me see. I have here. Okay, and um, You are going to have something like 25 minutes. Okay. Let me see. We are going to practice this conversation that I have here. Customer that we are going to ident identify com like a customer. And the other one we are going to, I mean, we are going to identify as a bank teller, okay? That is the, the, the bank teller. Okay. Good morning. I like to open a new bank account. Primero, uh, no, mejor vamos a ver. Uh, Fatima y Robert. Robert, you are going to be the customer and Fatima is going to be the, the bank teller. Okay. 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 I'm the customer. Yes. Good morning. I'd like to open a new bank account. Good morning. Of course, we'd be happy to assist you with that. What type of account are you interested in? A savings or a checking account? I think I'll go with a checking account. What are the requirements? You'd need to provide a government issued ID, proof of address, and an initial deposit. Do you have those documents with you? Yes, I have my driver's license and a recent utility bills as proof of address. I'd like to start with a 500 deposit. Great. Let me get the necess necessary paperwork for you to fill out and we'll get your account set up. Account set up. Okay, now I'm going to read it. Good morning. I like to open a new bank account. Uh, good morning. Of course, we'll be happy to assist you with what that. What type of account are you interested in? A saving or a checking account? Uh, I think uh, I'll go with a checking account. What are the requirements? You'll need to provide a government issued ID, proof of address, and an initial deposit. Do you have those documents with you? Yes, I have my driver's license and a recently utility bill as a proof of address. I like to start with five, with a 500 deposit. Great, let me get the necessary paperwork for you to fill out and we'll get your account set up. Okay, let's go now. Read them 
together, please. Open your mix. You know the, the dynamic. Open your mix. Open your mix. Abran sus micrófonos. And we are going to repeat everybody. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I like to open a new bank account. I like to, I like like to open the new account. 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 Good morning, of course. Good morning. Good morning, of course. We'd be happy to assist you with that. We'd be happy to assist you with that. What type of account are you interested in? What type of account are you interested Account. 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 A savings or a checking account. A savings or a checking account. I think I'll go with a checking account. I think I go by a checking account. What are the requirements? What are the requirements? Requirements. 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 You'll need to provide a government issue ID. You need to provide government using ID. You. 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 Government. Government. Issued. 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 Proof of address. Proof of address and an initial deposit. And an initial deposit. Do you have those documents with you? Do you have those documents with you? Yes, I have my driver's license. Yes. And a recent utility bill. And a recent utility bill. As a proof of address. As a proof of address. I like to start with a 500 deposit. I like to start with a 500 deposit. Great. Great. Let me get the necessary get paperwork the for you to fill out. Let me get the necessary paperwork for you to fill out. To fill out. To fill out. Fill out. Fill out. No, no se pare, no se pare, David. Y generalmente para que se le oiga más, digámoslo así, más nativo, esas palabras se unen, ¿no? Dice uno, feel out, feel out ¿no? Que dice fill out. Fill out. out. For you to fill out. Exacto. And we'll get your account set up. And we'll get your account set up. Account set up. Set up. Set up. Okay. Uh -huh. So you are going to practice the dialogue and you are going to create two questions, okay, about this dialogue. Se los voy a compartir por el chat. Déjenme ver. Yes. Este, pero dejo de compartir para que no aparezcamos ahí porque siempre me captan el mejor ángulo. Siempre salgo así. Lo hacía. No, please. Let me see. Ahorita vamos a ver. And what are you going to do? You are going to read the conversation, to practice the conversation, and you are going to create the question about the conversation, okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher.
Just teacher. Excellent. As my friend, baby say, yes, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> Wait for me because I'm changing the screenshot. And right now, you are going to be sending to your breakout rooms and you are going to start with the uh, vocabulary. Wait, because I'm charging and I don't know. So. I think so that I have opened them. Pero ahí ves que el suavecito va el fuego, por ahí me da miedo. Oh, don't be afraid. Okay, opening, opening a bank account. It's there. And remember, you have to practice the conversation and you have to create two questions about this conversation. Yes. Yes, here we go. Mario Kart. Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Alguien la puede compartir porque así con los datos me da miedo salirme porque si no me saca la aplicación. <ríe> no, yo no la puedo compartir. Ya la voy a compartir yo. Bueno, ID, group of address, and um, initial deposit. Do you have those documents with you? Yes, I have my driver's license and a written license. Utility. Come on, teacher. With you. Yes, I have my dry and listen and receive utility bill or house proof or address. I like to start why I'm 500 deposit. Great. Let me get the necessary paperwork for you to fill out and well get your account set out. Set out. Set out. Set out. With when you this say uh deposit with teacher repeat activity in the, pra in the practice uh, the conversation e you have to create the questions create uh, the question the, 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 the conversation uh, yeah up front uh, about it. 
Ok. Entonces démosle, David. Démosle las, las preguntas. Ah, teacher, example, please. No, I don't know. The, uh, the customer opened the bank account. Yes, he did. Or no, she did. I mean. Okay. Oh, Catherine. Hello. Voy a practicar. Sí. No, no me podía acceder a la sala. Ok. Entonces practicamos, Catherine. Ok. ¿Quién es quién? We will go with a checking account. What are the requirements? You are need to provide a government issued it drop of average in an initial deposit. Deposit. Do you have those documents? With you? Yes, I have my drafts, license, and a recent utility. This a proof of error. It like to start with um, como la 500, 500 depots. Great, let me get the necessary paperwork for you to fill out and where your your account set up set up set up set up set up, set up. driver's license recent utility Okay. Okay. Good morning. I like to open a new a new bank account. Good morning. Of course, we'd be happy to assist you with that. Uh, what that? of accounts are you interested in a saving or a checking account i think i go with a checking account that are the requirements requirements requirements, requirements. Okay. you need to provide a group provide Provides a gross amount uses ID, draw of address, and an initial deposit. Uh, Mister, hi. We have to make a sentence, or we have to make question about the reading. Uh, questions. You have to create two questions about the reading. Two questions. Yeah. Just two. Just. Oh well, if you want to create more, you can create more. But I just have this. I um, mean, the assignment is at least you have to create two. And, and we have to give the answer. Yes. Oh, is the, I mean, also the answer are in the reading. No? Like by example, did the customer, did the customer open, the, 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 op, the open the bank account? Oh, what, I, was the bank, oh. Was the bank account checking or a saving account? I mean... Mm -hmm. I thought we 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 were going to do a uh own questions. Yeah, your own questions. Uh, talking uh, about our life. No, you are talking about the reading. 
Yeah, man, I get I got wrong, but that's why you are here. Uh, okay, so you heard the teacher. Yeah, he said we have to do questions about the reading. Sería bien. What did he want? Me la voy a escribir aquí. Si would like, le gustaría. He would like to open a new bank account. Doble C. Yeah. Vaya, mira. That is not a question, Roberto Guzman. It's a good, uh, it's a good sentence, but it's not a question. What? La que ha mandado. Um, no, no, and the second and the, the fear is in the question and the, the second and Ah, the answer. The answer. Ah, okay. The answer, uh -huh. Ah, okay. Es que no el teacher solo vela. Ajá. Uh -huh. Como acaba de entrar. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Garcia Chachawa. No, no me gusta Chachawa. <laughs> Sorry, no Miss García. <laughs> Miss Cat García, so sorry. Está <laughs> bien. Ya me está. You need to provide a government issue ID proof of address in an initial deposit. Do you have those documents with you? Yes, I have my guys license in a recent UTV as a pro of address I like to start with a Five hundred depots. Great. Let me get the necessary paperwork for you to fill out and while get your account set up. Hey, Roxana. Hola. Ya somos más. ¿Cuántos somos hoy? A ver, me fija aquí. To fill out and well, get your accounts set up. Set up. Hola, buenas noches, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo te pasa? ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? ¿Está mami? What type of account did you open? ¿Qué tipo de cuenta abrió? No. Entonces sería, what kind of bank account? Did he open? Is that right, Mister? Yes. Okay. Está bien. Está bien. ¿Cómo cómo? Morita, chequemos. I will make share as a question. Fíjate que yo le había redactado como qué tipo. No, que si has pensado en abrir una cuenta. Why you start Pero... about opening account? No. Has pensado acerca de abrir una cuenta bancaria. No, eh, me, es que me daba, es que me daba hub, y entonces yo le puse WhatsApp. Ajá, no, no es así. Ahí sería. ¿Qué pensaste acerca 
de qué pensaste acerca de abrir una cuenta bancaria. Eh, pero mira, fíjate que el teacher quiere que la formulemos en base a la lectura. Ah. Silence, teacher. Yes, I was watching it. Es porque entró usted. No, oh my God. <laughs> Son bromas. Ay, en la que nos habíamos quedado, Catherine. Oh. What type of account did you, did you choose? He. choose he. Así, he va de último, queda de último, he. Así me la tiro este volado. El traductor. Oh, espera, espera, vamos a ver esta. La respuesta de esta, ¿cuál era, Caterina? Mm. Checking out. Uh -huh. He choose. Checking out. Con. Ch choosing, choosing, porque él eligió. Uh -huh. He chose the, the checking account. A checking account. When bank did you open? What bank maybe did you open? Or what kind of bank account did you open? Bank teller. What is bank teller? Eh, el asesor de banco. Okay. La respuesta de esa, ¿cómo queda, David, de la tres? ¿De qué has mandado? Diego is here also, I know. I think so, yeah, Diego is here. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> I'm trying to collaborate. To get it. Them. What are you doing? <laughs> they oh. are working in a, re in a conversation and they are trying to do two questions. And well, I mean, oh, you yeah. can create more questions. I asked just two, but you, I mean, but they yeah. can, yeah, you can create more if you want. In this moment, I fell into, I, I got it to the conversation. Start with yo creo que porque es la forma diferente del verbo ¿va? porque en la pregunta lo puse como en pasado porque estar creo que así va con Edeva uh -huh. es el pasado ajá y el... entonces Okay, 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 okay. Now we are going to work on another thing. I hope that you, I mean, some of you did some sentences. You were discussing about the past. It's better if you use the past because, I mean, the past is like, uh, is the, 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 the topic that we are working on, okay? What do you want? Open the bank account, you know? Oh, it's okay. I want to open a checking make account. Uh huh. Kind of account. Do you want to open it? That's okay. I was watching some. I mean, some uh, screenshot that you check right now. Okay. So, 
But right now we are going to work on another stuff. Let me see to share the things. Okay, what are you going to do? You are going to match the different financial statements with their definition, compare with a partner, okay? So you can do it by yourself or you can do it together. You can say, ah, uh, the, the cash flow is, um, I don't know, I mean, the cash flow, what is balance sheet? A balance sheet is a summarized a company incomes, expenses, and profit or period of time. Oh, no, no, it's a report of company it's coming and coming of cash is operating. I mean, you have to match the this one maybe what the I mean with the definition right here. So let me see. And after also after you can write down your notebook the questions i mean of the of, of, of your your thinking or your ideas or your opinion about this you have to discuss between you i mean the following ideas share your opinion and give reasons i mean why it is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has do you think it's important you say yes why Ah, because so, so. no, you say no because you have a I mean you have an assurance, maybe they are in charge, they are in charge of the of to have my money secure. I mean, I don't know, you have to give your reasons about why I mean you are do you are why do you agree or why do you disagree with an idea? Okay. Lo digo rapidamente, va a que a que a buscar cuál es el significado y en esta va a discutir las tres oraciones que tenemos aquí y lo que va a hacer es dar ideas u opiniones de por qué está de acuerdo o no está de acuerdo en algo, ¿ok? No solo diga, eh, deben de tener los, los bancos estados de cuenta, sí, ¿por qué? Ah, because, no, no, ah, no, yo creo que no, no, porque, ah, por eso, that's okay. You have to give reasons. Obviously, you have to try to do it in English, okay? So that is page 39, guys, okay? Hola. La uno es la C. No, no. Uh, 
Entonces ya me chiquito o chiquito. Ah, de, 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 de dos puntos. Dos puntos. Esa cosita, Alan, lo del cajerito ese que tenés de juguete. Informe sobre los cambios en las ganancias tenidas por una empresa durante el periodo indicado. Cash flow. Reports a company. Reports a company summarized a company's income, expenses and profits over a period of time. Reports of a change in retained earnings of a company during the stated state stated stated or state. Up oh, the company uh, uh, meanwhile the, the uh, Literal B. La de flujo de efectivo, porque dice que entrada, salida. La 2 sería. Eso, ni siquiera en español sé qué significa. Mm. Estos términos son de gente que tiene dinero. Yo no, no te manejo el. el... El, el, el significado de flujo de fondo ni siquiera en español ni siquiera sé qué es eso dijo Carl a mi hijo lo hablame de crédito y débito ahí con eso si sí nos entendemos yo solo me imagino que cash flow significa flujo de dinero y la segunda income statement that's it, eh, that's it. the sentence is Income stamps, creo que es algo así como la cuenta de los ingresos. Eh, ingresos. Más a ver. <risa> <risa> Reports a company assets, liabilities, and owners quality at a given point in time. Huh. Ay, la verdad que sabe. Oh, come on. A la lógica, a lo, nuestra opinión personal, creo yo que nos vamos a ir. La primera será como hacer. The reports on, on a company's incoming and a coming of cash, operating investing and financing. Como te digo, ni siquiera en español sé qué significa. Ok, porque Palabra. dice. La primera dice no, cash no. y también dice cash. Me imagino que es que. La, Ay, no. Mira, a ver, si puedes buscar estos significados de español a español, fuera bueno, porque. El primero dice flujo de fondo. El segundo, estados de resultado, declaración de patrimonio y hoja de balance. Peor, mamita. No, joda. <risa> I'm sorry. It's hard Pero for me. La... Try to no, traduciéndola según eh, el, el, la primera, flujo de fondos, es la tercera, ¿verdad? Ajá, es la tercera, porque Ajá. flujo de fondos 
este, habla sobre la, las entradas y salidas de entradas efectivo. efectivo. Ajá, entonces y en la tercera dice informe sobre las entradas y salidas de una empresa. Salida de Hagamos lo que ustedes dicen. La uno con la tres. Exactamente. La, la primera la tercera, dice... No, ahí donde vos decís, dice reporte de dinero en, en trans. Ok. Ok, ok. Um... Sería... Yo digo que para mí sería la D, la primera. Y la de... A, la de cuatro. Uh, uh, for me, is is like this. Number four is... Oh, number four is A. And number one is D. Like this. Oh, for me. Excuse me. Like this. And the another four is uh, we could uh, search in, in Google these terms. Uh, because I am doubt, uh, I am doubt in, in the counts, and later translate, translating Google this, these statements, for take a, a very compre compre comprehensions the, the the statement, and to interpret a better form. Or waiting to uh, enter. Very good, girls. Just discuss the sentences down. Ya nos fuimos. Ah. Ahí ya estamos escribiendo. Ah, very good. So. Then I imagine you have to be working on the next exercise, exercise number three. Yes, ya estamos haciendo la tres. La, 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 la segunda parte, la, la tres, el ejercicio tres, ahí dice en el primero, y es, es, no es importante saber acerca de los ingresos y egresos de la compañía. Algo así. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. It's not so important, yeah. No es tan importante. It's very important. The number three, uh, for the moment, the letter A. Okay. I discuss for the number A in the letter, in the number three in the letter A. Uh, number four, Summary and company incomes, expense and profits over a period of time. And who we the number B? For me, uh, it's the problem the concept that the, the company coming in states. In... Me suena parecida. Le voy a leer la definición. 
de estado de resultado. Yo sí la tengo. Hola. Ya se la tengo, la número cuatro, como... B. La... Ajá. And just for Según me. Yo. Sí. Según yo. <risa> El tres. Disfrute con tu compañero. No tu opinión. Teacher, solo el, el exercise number two. In number three, you have to discuss number three. Oh, okay. Menos mal. Ya lo estábamos haciendo, Brenda. ¿Sí? Sí, ya lo. No sé cómo la... Ahí está, Gemira. Sí. My company is owned and fired many people. Last year, a company is owned and fired many people. The owner carried such Mi dueño hizo acciones que salvó a la compañía para salvar a la empresa. Que Sash, Downer, que Hit, que Hit, Sash. Mi dueño llevó. Patients. And the number one is. It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. And like that, uh, or you translate, uh, will be uh, in Spanish. Es como no es importante conocer acerca de las entradas y salidas que una compañía tuvo o tiene. O es, no está en pregunta, sino como es, no sé, pero sería como, iris, es como, yeah. es, es como es, negativo. Ajá, sí, bueno. Tú ya yeah. no me agarró el tiempo. Yes. I didn't time to, to solve this part, but we was trying to. To finish. Hello, hello. Okay, you have time to uh, discuss. Some of you just checking the answers of the exercise were like, uh, okay, it is like this, it is like that. So then it is like this. You have the answer on your chat.
CDAB. Okay, I know that all of them they are like uh, they are similar, but they have differences. Okay, right now I'm gonna share to you. I mean, I'm gonna share by WhatsApp a page with 25 words that they are used in in a financial, I mean in the financial field. I mean, it's just like a account of financial statement vocabulary. Okay, you have there on your chat of WhatsApp right now. What you are going to do, you are going to study that words right now and you are going to create a dialogue, okay? A conversation using this kind, the whatever this word, I mean, I don't know how you are going to use it, but you are going to include some of these words. You don't have to, to include all words. You have to include as many as possible. Digo, tiene ya 25 palabras usadas en la jerga eh, de lo financiero. ¿Qué va a ser de esas 25 palabras? Va a elegir algunas cuantas para crear una conversación. ¿Y cuántas voy a usar, teacher? As many as you can. Tantas como pueda. Ah, no es obligación usarlas todas, no digo dos, no digo una, no digo tres. I mean, it's your creativity, okay? You have to create a short conversation. Ya le di un modelo, but you can create another conversation, okay? Can be a model, the one that I have? Yes, puede ser un modelo, pero tiene que crear your own, okay? Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. We understood. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I was asking about account balance to my bank because I need to know how much money I do have on it. Interest rate, the percentage at which a financial institution pays interest on deposit or charge for a loan. El porcentaje por el cual la institución financiera 
paga de intereses o depósitos o cargos por préstamos. Algo así. Eh, interest rate. Eh, award. For me, the, the easy words and I think could use uh, deposit a credit card or transaction or you can you tell uh, the shame? The way, the way, the way, how can, how can start? Tenemos que elegir de esas, me imagino. You have to use them, uh -huh. you have to use them. You have to pick, pick them up. I mean, you have to pick some words to create a conversation. Uh -huh. Get account balance, please. Vaya, dice que vamos a crear una conversación. Ahí está. RB to everyone. ¿Quién va a ser el siguiente? Pero esa, esa la escogeríamos quizás dependiendo del rol de cada quien. Definámoslos así como dice Diego. Yo haría un cliente, digamos. Yo llevo un cliente. In, in, in the problem and the, the credit card, va, digamos. No, no traía el Will. No. No, porque ahorita voy contigo. I had to make a deposit. Vaya, hoy, hoy puede entrar ahí este, Sandra o, o Karen. Ella es una cajera. Ah, es una cajera. La atención al cliente. Ok. <risa> Aquí le voy a, vaya, yo voy a, no. a pagar con, con ah, Karen. Ah, pero después la cantidad, espera, espera, espera. I thank you for the part. Yeah, it's that good. Vaya, ahora solo voy a agregar otro y que sea bien más segundo. Voy a este, poner aquí. Hagamos de cuenta que yo soy Loretillo. Y también.
I need heal. Um, Okay. I need, I need, or I have. I need help. Necesito ayuda. I need help. Why something? I need help. Necesito ayuda con algo sobre mi tarjeta de crédito. Okay, cool. I need help with something about my credit card. Okay, sure. What's... Era que le iban a hacer hablado o escrito le iban a hacer. Vos. Ahora escrito. Es que hablado casi no nos comprendemos. Ya <risa> <risa> va que cuando entra el teacher nos dejan la luna a veces. <risa> oh my God. <risa> Pensando todavía qué nos habrá dicho. <risa> ¿Les parece bien así como va la respuesta? ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte? Bienvenida. ¿Cómo diría usted, Ana? Ajá, vaya, a eso le digo yo. ¿Y usted quién, quién me va a contestar? Ah, aquí le pondría. Necesito hacer un retiro de dinero. Urgentemente. That's what I tell you that. So. You can tell me in this case, but you you got your credit, you got your debit card. Sería que no puedo hacer nada, verdad? No sé. Transaction. Transaction, eh, boss. And, bueno, ni sabía yo que eso quería decir a TM automática. Transfer. No, tell, tell. ¿Cómo es teacher? Teller. Teller, teller. Teller machine. Yeah, automatic teller machine. Automatic teller machine. Uh -huh. That's it, automatic teller machine. ATM. Yeah. Yo tenía que entendido que ATM significaba automatic transfer money. No, it's automatic teller money. Automatic teller machine. Uh -huh. Excuse me, I, I get it, I get it up, but uh, I'm here. Um, I can make transition in ATM. Oh, my pleasure. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. I find in the system what is the problem? I see. Mm -hmm. 
300 for a fine. 300 for a $5. Walter. Ah, vaya. Ahí le puse good morning, Miss Karen. I had. Walter, te quedas lo acabo el tiempo. Pues tenemos mucho vocabulario aquí. Ajá. Mira, tenemos aquí bond, portfolio, eh, overdraft, as, asset. Liability, eh, compound interest, financial planner, tiene credit card, tiene loan, maybe my. Huh? Es como credit, tu historial de crédito es so low. Como muy bajo para retirar, pensaba por mí. No money. I cry. Llego, reality, llego, that's the reality. 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 Llego, that's You don't have enough cash. The history of my life. The history of the life. We had. The history of every single day. Es, yes. Diego, yes. Diego, qué crudo es, qué triste. Yeah, forever Easter, the, the last month. <laughs> Diego, come on, don't play with our feelings, please. No juegue con nuestros sentimientos. You made me uh, remember. <laughs> it's, it's trying to, to recreate a, a real... A real scenario. situation. <laughs> yeah, a real situation. A real situation that everybody passes. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Not too much real, please. <laughs> <laughs> Because David se sintió mal, o sea, demasiado real. ¿Verdad, David? No. Yes. Um... <laughs> temas se sensible topics, I mean, temas sensibles. And remember be many stories. <laughs> <laughs> When you go to the ADM, ADM, no? And you don't have enough money. I cry. <laughs> you start to cry. When you have four ninety-five cents and you need five boxes. And you cannot make a withdrawal, I think so, because you have four 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 dollars ninety-nine cents. Tiene cuatro noventa y nueve y no puede hacer retirar no puede ser... cinco pesos. No, no retiro the five. <laughs> no, 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 I mean you need money. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> Catherine también ya se sintió aludida. Solo me acordé la vez que me quedé sin nada y el banco me depositó un centavo. That's a nice story. Sí. Ya ve, Diego, ¿por qué no tiene que ser tan realista? Porque no uno empieza así como que a sentir mal. That's okay, Diego. Solo nosotros... Solo nosotros. Y yo también. Me too, no. Y el teacher. Ah, por okay. el momento. Ah, oh, thank you. ¿Verdad, teacher? Ah. Oh. Ahí sí se la da, nos invita ahí al de Cameron. Oh, sí, tal de cámara, mándenme los pases gratis, por favor. Así que... <risa> Ahorita vamos a ver si la cajera autoriza el dinero, el cheque. Authorize the money. Ah, ok, that's ok. <risa> If she authorizes the money. Sé que se referirá. Es que dice que puedes este, hacer un retiro de dinero. Oh. Exacto. O oh. en el cajero automático también podemos poner. ADN. ADN.
Tenemos aquí... Eh, bueno, si hay mucho aquí, aquí tenemos 25 frases. Mira, aquí tenemos este principio. Eh, la cantidad inicial de dinero que se ha prestado se ha invertido antes del interés agregado. Bueno, la otra está. Bate es la, un plan financiero que outlines expected income. Entonces, inicial ahí, ¿cómo puede? ¿Alguna idea? Bueno, esta palabra... I like the history of teacher. <laughs> I like the real history of the story because I feel like when, no, believe it or not, once once in my life I was in the town of the city and I need just a cent because I have 19 cents. And you know, the bus, uh, the, the bus costs 20 cents and I have 19 cents. And what's going on walking on the street Asking to God, find out one cent. Tenía 19 centavos, iba por el camino rogando a Dios encontrar un centavo. <laughs> Because I have got 19 cents, tenía 19 centavos y los buceros a veces así como que va, ah, no, no bajaste, así es que. And, and, the, and the history, and the tell me, yeah. and the, and the, the you. <laughs> Diego, muy, 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 just, muy just, realista, just much realistic, Diego Ruano. No, oh, no, 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 no. I don't worry, Diego. Just... I, I, I never I work in the bank, but for situation with occurrence, I know so. what's your intention. <laughs> No, I know. No, I know, Diego. That, I mean, I know that. I'm just kidding. But yeah, there are situations like, uh, no, I mean, sometimes you need, as by example, $35 and you have $34.99. <laughs> and you know, how can I do to get 35 boxes? I mean, that's right. No, that's okay. Uh, Uh, miss, can you tell me if uh, I applied for a credit card? Financiero. Es casi lo mismo planeador que planificado. Planner. <laughs>
Y no prediquemos lo que, lo, lo que escribimos. Ya, ahorita. Vaya. Hi, Ana. ¿Qué has dicho, Ana? Estoy, aquí estoy. Hi, Walter. Where do you go? I'm going to make a transaction at the bank. I, I can you go to uh, the bank? I had to make a uh, deposit this uh, $100. Mm. Finishing plan that outlines expected income and ex expenses over an specific. Wait, attendance time right now. Okay, Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Diego Rodolfo Ruano Vázquez. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present teacher. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. Ok. Uh... José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. 
Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present, teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present, teacher. Sandra Yamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present, teacher. Y Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present, teacher. A mí no me menciono. Ok. So, I think so that you have finished. You have a lot of vocabulary. Also, remember that for doing your exercise in the, on the platform, you just have to study your manual. Tiene que estudiar su manual, ¿verdad? Para hacer las tareas. Tiene algún vocabulario ahí. I mean, creo que con ese vocabulario tiene bastante para tener un poco de idea about the... Eh, the financial vocabulary, you know? You have also a dialogue. I think so that some of you create a dialogue. Some of you are sharing your screenshot. It's okay. And that's it. Please don't miss any class because, I mean, today is the class number 16, as I told you. Tomorrow is class number 17. And after that, because today has the smell to Friday, after Friday, we are going just we are going to have just three classes more or three more classes, okay? Three more classes that they, it will be Monday, uh, Tuesday, and Wednesday, okay? There won't be more classes. You have to be prepared. I mean, please, you have to finish your homeworks. I wrote down some messages to the one who didn't finish the homeworks today, escribí mensajes, más o menos como las seis y cuarto, seis treinta, para los que no habían terminado sus tareas, ¿verdad? Por favor, terminen sus tareas, que ya viene la última unidad, ya viene el examen final también, y es necesario para que puedan avanzar al siguiente módulo. Pues, asistencia está bastante bien, solo algunas con las tareas que me han dejado pendientes. Espero que ya algunos ya me escribieron que están hechas y los que no, pues que hoy pueden terminar. De hecho, hoy deberían de empezar tarea 16. Ok. Así es que, it will be good. I don't know if you have any question about this topic. Hay, hay otra vez, o sea. Hay otro montón de palabras, obviamente, pero ahí están por lo menos las 25 más comúnmente usadas en el ámbito financiero. Tell me, Diego Ruano. Teacher, excuse me, my computer, I don't work fine, so I don't know if... Um, if I did the attendance. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, don't worry. I was watching oh. the internet here and I was like, uh, what's up with Diego? But you are okay, here, then. don't worry, okay? You are here. I was watching and you are and you are recording. So any event you have the report of the time that you have been here. Don't worry, Diego. So if there are no more questions, there are no more comments. Uh, I think so that Walter Reyes has to stay with me today. And for the other side, you can, you know the song, no? Everybody at the count of one, two, three, and close your eyes. Go to your beds to dance. Do you feel your pillow under your head? Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Okay, guys, you can rest. Just rest. Rest in a calm way on your bed. Puede descansar en una forma tranquila en su casa. Okay? You can have sweet dreams. Puede tener sueños dulces. And see you tomorrow at the same time and by the same channel. Okay? So, bye-bye for everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.
Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Teacher. Hi. Este, verificó ahí en... Ahorita no le he hecho, eh, pero si nada le voy a mandar un reporte, es que en todo el día luego voy a checar, pero créame que ha tenido un día algo más atareado de lo común y por eso no he podido desde la mañana que me senté en la compu y en el día no he podido estar en ella. Oh, bueno, pero sí, bien. yo verifico y le digo, Catherine. Vaya, hasta el 15 pero, oh, me vaya, he hecho. Eres, quiero ver, déjeme ver si lo tengo por aquí un poco actualizado. Quiero ver, es que creo que tengo así. Para ver lo de Catherine. De Catherine. Catherine. I like how I pronounce your name, no? Catherine. Catherine. Catherine, yeah. Let me see. Catherine. Katie. Kate. Kate. Kat. Okay. Catherine, yeah. You got there. You are good, Catherine. Yeah. yeah you have done the other one, yeah. Okay. Entonces, bye bye. Bye. Good night, good night. Good night. So wait, Mr. Just we are gonna wait. We are gonna go there. Okay. So tell me, how can I help you, Mr. Reyes? ¿Cómo le ayudo? Pues, ¿cómo decirle? ¿Puedo hablar inglés, papá? ¿Cómo? I mean, yes, yeah, you can speak in English, or if you prefer, I mean, for me, for me, there is no problem. Tell me. Okay. Este, más que todo, tengo problemas en... No, no encuentro cómo pronunciarme. O sea, a veces me esconden las palabras, entonces me quedo. Pero se que... le esconde la pronunciación. No, trato de buscar la palabra y, y como que se me esconde, no la encuentro. Aunque ya la sepa, quizás. Ajá, entonces quiero quitarme esa parte. No sé si es miedo. Escénico. Es posible que sea miedo si ya la sabe. Y puede Ajá. ser miedo también a, a pronunciarla mal. Eh, pues una forma de quitarse el miedo es, en el caso de la pronunciación, es cantando en inglés. Cantando, y usted, porque, sí, o sea, yo recomiendo 70, 80 y 90. Igual, por ejemplo, con alguien compartí algunas, por ejemplo, algunas aplicaciones. Hay una de conversación, hay otra de vocabulario. Qué bien le podría servir. Mándeme, escríbame un mensaje ahorita. Vamos a ver. Eh, eh, ¿Aquí en la plataforma? No, al, al chat. chat. Sí. Esta dice aprender italiano, ¿verdad? Pero este... Ya cuando la descarga, descarga la de inglés. Usted gamusa. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Vale, ahí le va. Oh, my God. Ahí le va. Cuando las mandé. Ahí le va una. Que dice para aprender italiano. Otra que dice uh -huh. que es conversaciones en inglés, en este mueve la conversación y se oye Ajá. conversaciones básicas en inglés las va oyendo y la sí, porque, otra es un diccionario Ajá, porque eh, este, a veces me, me, me pongo unos links y luego, y luego le tiran a uno la, la, la pregunta Ajá. Eh, pero como a veces bueno, el, el gringo habla muy rápido entonces no le capto totalmente sino que de las 10 le puedo sacar unas tres o cuatro buenas. Óigalo varias veces. Eso va a educar Ajá. su oído. El problema Ajá. a veces de nosotros es que oímos una vez y queremos comprender. Óigala, Ajá. tiene que oírlo varias veces. Otra cosa es, depende del sitio que use. No sé si usa el que le mandé yo. Sí. Ajá. ¿Cuál? Eh, los links que estuvo mandando. Ajá. 
Eh, Eso es lo, lo, lo uso. Y también he usado el que aparece en el manual. Ajá. Vale. Solo que, so, solo que ahí, como le digo, eh, como que siento que bien rápido y, y las palabras que uno está acostumbrado a escuchar no las, eh, no las termina de escuchar muy bien porque Sí, como a veces ellos depende las de, unen. del acento también. Uh -huh. Eh, quiero ver. Y, y cuando escucho unas que, 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 que he bajado de, 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 de Instagram, que es donde sale un niño, como que habla un poco más pausado, ahí entiendo mejor. Ah, pero entonces, cabales, hace falta de fluir. Ese que le estoy mandando ahorita es el que, es que usamos. No proyecto mucho, aunque publicó el sitio, pero ese que está viendo ahí eh, puede buscar lo que puede hacer usted, por lo menos ahorita también, es buscar los scripts. El punto de buscar los scripts y la recomendación es que lo oiga por lo menos unas tres, cuatro veces antes y después busque el script. Porque a todo el mundo le explico que el problema de a veces de nosotros, o por ejemplo, de querer cantar una canción, es que la queremos traducir en nuestra mente. Y esos microsegundos Ah, ese que problema usa, tengo también. esos Ajá, microsegundos ahí, ahí se que pierde. usted usa para traducción, los pierden interpretación. Es decir, usted, digamos, oye una canción, una, oye una canción, una palabra, empieza a oírla y todas las, palabras, las primeras palabras las entiende. Pero ya después hay una que no entiende. En esa se quedó su mente, trata de, tra trata de traducirla, pasar la que quiere decir al español, y ahí perdió todo lo demás de la música. Entonces, esos microprocesos que suenan así son bien difíciles, es decir, y si no los domino, se pierde, que es lo que pasa, por ejemplo, en alguna conversación o cuando sabe alguna idea. Tal vez tiene tres palabras, pero necesita cuatro, pero con las cuatro usted se quedó pensando... Eh, qué quiere decir o cómo se va a decir y eso ya le detuvo ya me perdió la idea exacto ajá por sí, eso ese problema es el problema que tengo ajá, sí, yo sé entonces yo por lo le digo, yo por ejemplo a, a la gente le recomiendo, va, mire, busque música de esa de los 70, 80, 90 ponga la música en inglés empiece a cantar los en inglés, mire, pero si no sé lo que estoy diciendo eh Ahorita no se preocupe por lo que está diciendo. Gane, por ejemplo, educar su oído y gane fluidez. Ya después de aprenderse la canción y de haberla oído varias veces, entonces ya cuando se la pueda hasta de memoria, pues ya busque la traducción en español. Porque ya va a haber dominado las otras dos artes, que es pronunciarla por lo menos y de entender lo que dice. Pero si usted se pone Así cuando que... que la oye... Eh, la quiere pronunciar y encima la está leyendo en español o quiere saber qué dice en español se perdieron todos esos procesos se hace bolas y no pasa ni uno ni otro proceso, mejor eh, ¿Sí? que el oído primero, solo oígala oígala, de hecho así debería ser ¿Sí? oígala, oígala lo que pasa en microbuses, ya usted no sé si viaja todavía en microbús no le puede gustar una canción pero la oye tantas veces que después hasta de memoria la canta usted y le dice, chiqui, que ando cantando pero Por esa razón. Ah. Ok. Sí, está, Eso está bien es. en la recomendación. Sí, entonces, bueno, le digo, vas, oye, en YouTube, véala, y si tiene, es más, ahorita, lo primero es solo, oiga, unas, oígala, si le gustó, oígala, oígala, hasta que ni siquiera tenga que leerla, sino que ya por, por inercia usted la repita y la cante. Ya después puede ver cómo se dice en inglés. Y de último, ya ni, quizás cuando ni se acuerde, ya entonces veo qué quiere decir el familia. Porque, como le digo, si no, se traban todos esos microprocesos. O sea, es decir, se hace bola usted, oye la canción, la quiere cantar, no la puede cantar, y encima la ve en español, y en su mente está qué quiere decir en español. Entonces, o sea, no, se perdió todo. Se perdió la idea. Por eso ahorita hablo. Óigala, óigala, entonces usted empieza. I close my eyes only for the moments and the moments gone. Y ahí, ya después, o sea, la oye, después ya la canta y de último ya, ah, esto quiere decir en español. Le va a ser mucho más sencillo. Sí, sí, esa la ando, la ando escuchando cuando tengo así un momento. Me gusta escuchar las canciones así en inglés, las la, la clásicas. 
Sí. También de hecho que yo recomiendo 70, que... 80 y 90 porque las letras son más tranquilas y son más, dif... son más fáciles de, de distinguir y de pronunciar. No va a oír, le digo yo a, a alguien, Ajá. le decía, no va a oír a Snow con Infome. No, si usted alguna vez ha oído Infome, no sé si lo oyó. Sí. Vaya, pero sí, son... son muy rápidos. Ajá, no va a poner, o a cantar, mire, a mí me gusta Eminem. Ah, pues vea, con Eminem. Eminem tiene el, ¿qué? Tiene el récord Guinness de 90 palabras, no sé si por segundo o por minuto, no recuerdo, imagínense. En inglés, pues no vamos a aprender. Es diferente sí. cuando usted se va a Chicago, Europa, los Gs. Todo eso que cantan un poco más tranquilos. Sí, eso sí. Esa es la recomendación. Y por último, pierde el miedo. Por lo menos aquí en las clases y todos nos vamos a equivocar. Alguien me escribió, mire, me equivoqué. Ay, no, yo... Si alguien escribió, mire. Y... No, yo, yo, yo sé que no, nadie, nadie va a reír. Ni, ni aún así, pero tal sí, vez no es solo no. por reírse. A veces es un más un miedo, un miedo propio de no hacerlo yo bien. ¿Mm? No es tanto a veces de, de qué van a decir los demás, sino como a mí, que, de que quizás no lo voy a pronunciar bien. Pero si aquí, igual va quizás aparte de mí, tal vez alguien que tiene bastante vocabulario es Beltrán y de ahí Ruano, quizás son los dos que más este, y sí, que tratan de hablar bueno, un poco bueno. más de inglés David sí. hace buenos intentos, David es bastante bueno, David hace buenos intentos sí. pero eh, tiene una muletilla fonética, ya la escuché <risa> Ajá. entonces, pero lo que quiero decir es que todos tenemos errores aún hasta yo todavía a veces ¿Por qué cree que tengo el, 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 ¿qué? el celular aquí a la par? Porque a veces yo mismo digo, mmm, esto, no me suena esta palabra. Entonces tengo que ir otra vez al vocabulario, al diccionario, para sí. ver si estoy seguro de cómo se pronuncia. No, y como, y como nosotros la pronunciamos también, creo que ha de ser un dolor de cabeza para usted. <ríe> no, pero, ay, pero, 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 pero para yo corregirlo, porque hago, por ejemplo, ay, hoy oí, por ejemplo, la, la españolización de... Deposit, ustedes dicen deposit y era deposit, en In inglés es deposit. deposit. El acento lo lleva en otro lado. Ajá. Ah, okay, okay. Entonces, okay. cosillas. Por eso no tenga miedo de aquí. Rápido, Pero rápido. Este, cu cuando me pregunta y le respondo, digamos, en los diálogos, eh, ¿se me entiende o algo más o menos? Sí, sí, se entiende, pero yo lo he sentido bien temeroso. Es más, a veces casi no habla de ese temor de que se puede equivocar. Ah, claro. Deja ver sí, que, que los demás contesten o participen. Ajá, cabal. Sí, es cierto. Ahí tienen razón, pero lo vamos a echar ganas. Exacto. Está bien, Walter, entonces. Now you can close your eyes. Ok. Espérame, le voy a presentar a, a, le voy a, presentar a mi hija. Es el ejemplo que tengo que seguir. And Jennifer, vení. She speaks English. Ok. Ay. Más o menos. Oh, my God. Jennifer. Come over here to her. Vamos, Come please. on. Jennifer, te habla. Llama a la hija. Ahorita viene, estres ahorita viene estresada, ticha. En otro día será. <risa> es que llegando viene de la universidad, anda estresada. Ah, de verdad. Ah, sí. Estudia también el idioma o algo así, ¿no? Este, este inglés estudió hace como tres años, creo que la llevé. Uh -huh. Bueno, pero lo aprendió para que lo pueda hablar bastante. Sí, ya se defiende. No, ya se defiende. Ahorita, ahorita está estudiando arquitectura. Ah, está bien. Lleva dos años y medio. Llevo ahorita. That's ok. Uh -huh. Pero sí, ella la, la, la Ahorita no, está bien fantástico. algo pesada. Fantástico, una arquitecta bilingüe ya. Sí. Ser bilingüe en hoy, 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 por hoy, abre bastantes. Ventanas, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, es que es, el idioma inglés se habla mucho fuerte. Verdaderamente. Yo lo quiero aprender porque siempre he tenido esa curiosidad que me gusta. No, no está bueno, dele. Usted no, pero, no se depende. Pero, pero ya probando así, ya metiéndose de llena, ya, otra pista, 
pero así se hace, yo le digo a la gente, o sea, esto es como que usted quiere aprender a jugar fútbol, ¿cómo va a aprender a jugar fútbol? Jugando, ¿cómo va a aprender a hablar? Hablando, lo que pasa es que a veces sí. uno se queda solo en los libros. Eso sí, sí tiene, tiene que fluir. Tiene que perder ese miedo. No, vale, no sé. Ahorita lo que estoy haciendo es que estoy practicando más, un poco más así de, de escritura. Uh -huh. Sí, para, ir sí. para ir formulando, porque como la práctica es la que a uno lo hace, sí, que sí, le vayan sí. quedando las cosas. No, sí, mire, hoy en la actualidad está la inteligencia artificial y hay un montón de aplicaciones, hay hasta sitios, por ejemplo, digamos, hay algunos, algunos no muy recomendables, algunos otros que sí. Por ejemplo, yo tengo una aplicación que se llama Live Mocha, se llama. En la versión de paga, por ejemplo, en la versión de paga, Usted puede buscar, chatear con gente que habla otros idiomas y chatea tranquilamente. Okay. El problema a veces es que es bien delicado a veces ya chatear en otros idiomas porque la mayoría de esas aplicaciones se mal utilizan para otro tipo de cosas. Ah, yeah, sí, sí, sí. Ya empieza a chatear con alguna gringa y se va a decir, ¿Estás single? Me? Y pues va a tener ahí un montón de problemas. Ya, yeah, eso sí. <risa> Sí. Está bien. Le vamos a echar ganas entonces. Sí. Le agradezco que se haya tomado el tiempo para. Ahí estamos para servirle Mirarme entonces, Walter. Consejo. Ok. Gracias, pues. Que tengan bueno. una buena noche. Good night. Bye.